Welcome back to KCAL News Mornings at 7 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. What is that? This is what it looks like oh, across wow. Southern California today. So get ready, get your umbrellas and your jacket out. It's also cold out there. 743 right now. We are just three days from the solar eclipse and a SoCal man will be right in the middle of the action. Michael Kurzan is an adjunct professor of astronautics at USC and he's taken a group of students to Texas to photograph the eclipse from the upper reaches of the atmosphere. <laughs> he's joining us live right now from Houston. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We are so excited about this. Um, can you walk us through, Michael, how you're going to do this and what are the students going to be measuring? There's balloon involvement, I'm sure some glasses, cameras. Take us through the whole thing. Well, thank you for having me. Excited to talk to you about what my 16 USC students have been working on these past few months. They have designed and planned and built a space mission of a payload consisting of four cameras that will be taken to the edge of space, if you will, by a helium balloon. They'll fill the helium and release it at just the right time so that as it rises, it will be looking at the eclipse during, that, uh, during the time when the eclipse is scheduled. What you're seeing is pictures from the dry run last week where they tested out the system for launching the balloon and operating the electronics on board. This is so exciting. It must be like the Olympics of science for you all who, who study things like this a year round. And this is giving your students an opportunity to kind of conduct unique research. It's a really clever idea twice in one year. But what can all of us, these who don't know that much about it, what can we learn from the eclipse and what should we be paying attention to? Well, this opportunity to understand geological phenomenon uh, and experience it firsthand. As we transition from summer to winter, there is the opportunity to pass the, for the moon to pass through the sun and create this uh, unique phenomenon that doesn't happen every year. And so we can see it firsthand and understand kind of the orientation of the planets and planetary bodies to see what is happening. When you are experiencing this, the first thing you will notice uh, is that it will actually get colder because we're essentially turning off the heat of the sun for just a couple minutes. It may drop 20 degrees in just a short period of time, but it will quickly resume back to the normal temperature. Another thing to take into account is what's called, I think it's the Purkinje effect, is the tendency for the peak luminance sensitivity of our eye to shift towards the blue end of the color spectrum oh. at low illumination. This was first noticed a couple hundred years ago when they saw that reddish flowers kind of look more purplish. Oh. And so if you have something nearby with bright red and green colors, you will notice that they kind of change right before the cliffs and then return back to the normal time. And I can't stress enough, do not look directly at the sun. Make sure you're using <laughs> approved eyeglasses because you can do permanent damage uh, even in a very short time. Just a few seconds uh, is not uh, a protection to, to from the from the hazards. That so is please, so important. Ru Ruta Bay actually has a pair Our meteorologist of, of those. Secured them for us. She takes good care <laughs> of us. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, have you have you experienced a, a total colander. solar eclipse before? I did. We Students at USC went in 2017 and launched actually two balloons. One was through the NASA Space Grant Consortium of 50 or so students that were live streaming their images, their video at altitude. And we also flew a balloon in the design of the Aerocene project with artist Tomas Saraceno oh, cool. of a solar or infrared balloon. So we did both of those back in 2017. Well, it's amazing. I can't wait to see the images you all capture. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure uh, this will live on in history, your experiment here and your study and research. Thank you so much for joining us and enjoy the eclipse. Thank you for having me.